Well, this high school football season, we saw an underdog team rise to the occasion. Hartfield Academy put together a series of wins, and they did that with years of resilience and also determination. This Fox 40 special highlights the heart of Hartfield Academy. The season is over for the Hawks, but it still began with history being made by the Hartfield football program. Coming into this year, these past few years, they, they've been rough. It just it hadn't been looking looking good, you know, just overall. It's been three and eight or three and seven and it's just been it's just become habit for the football team and my class is really emphasized on changing that and trying to change that and change the culture here at Hartfield. So I think that's what makes this team different is just we've, we've worked harder together as a team and, and I think we know what it takes to win now. I think we want that more than we ever have. They ended the season eight and four and four and one in their district and they also won their first playoff game in school history. But speaking with alumni and coaches, this year's team is special, a group who've battled through losses and adversity over the years. Matthew has played for the Hawks for three years. He and several players are the core of this team. I don't think we've ever won our first game, I, especially as long as I've been playing. We've never even won our first game. So to start out, you know, 1-0, 2-0, 3-0, and, and to get to 5-0, uh, that, was, that was just great. It felt, it felt good. In his senior year, he's seen this group go from winless to win streaks. Hardfield season is the fruit of their labor from being resilient and focused. This season's squad were also helped by newcomers to the team. I might be small, but I'm very strong. <laughs> uh, throughout like everything that I've been through, people say that I'm a strong person. Um, it's not just me being strong. Yeah, everybody can. Not everybody can deal with pain the same way as what I would say. But I took my pain and I made something great out of it. Like. I took my pain and actually tried to make it out. Like, and I want people to know, like, no matter what you go through, like, you can make it out as long as you actually put your mind to it. Senior linebacker Warren Fleming, a transfer from Jackson, is another example of Hartfield's heart and resilience. Over the years, he lost both his parents to cancer and is currently being raised by his older brother. This season, he was also sidelined with a shoulder injury, but it's not stopping him from pursuing a chance to play football and college. He says he plans to run track, stay in shape, and walk on to Southern Miss or Mississippi State. I didn't let it stop me because I know there's more that I can do now that I am injured. I can make a stronger comeback. So I plan on coming back 10 times harder after this injury, but while I'm injured, like I said, I'm just going to go and continue to work until I can't work no more. Warren's brother, Kenneth Short II, has currently been the male figure in his life. He and his aunt have been like parents to the young athlete. Well, my main goal is for him to have a positive outset on life so when he gets out here in the real world by himself, he won't have to experience the things that I experienced without a father figure or without a male figure or without people that was over my back. So, he, you know, that's just my main focus, for him to be able to be a successful young man in this world. Coach McFearon says the season is over, but the future is still bright for the Hawks. In Jackson, Nick Ticotti, Fox 40 Sports.